Siemens, ingenuity for life. So good afternoon, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, warm welcome on behalf of Siemens. Uh, we are happy in the morning, we've already launched by our management, uh, the digital transformer or the senseformer. Um, I'm the project manager, my name is Puneet Singh. And I'm happy to share um, the, the journey that, that, that the reason uh, why we decided to, to work on this project and what the future holds. Uh, one thing is very clear, Siemens is very committed on the digitalization journey. And um, I think you will, you will see also in the, in the future from us that Senseformer is just the beginning, yeah? So let's get started. Why did we decide on transformers? Yeah, I think we all know where the grid is heading. Grid is today decentral, decarbonized. Every day, new and renewable sources of energy are adding into the grid. And what we are also bracing up in a lot of parts of the world is, is the upcoming e-car infrastructure. Then if you think of all these renewable sources, yeah, how, how the grid has to auto-adjust to all these new challenges that, that get into the grid. The devices that really help the grid auto-adjust itself, whether it's peak loads, whether it's lesser loads or whatever, it are the transformers. Yeah? They are the most important devices today in the grid, which till yesterday, because today we have done it, but till yesterday were not digitalized. Yeah? And, and I think also there are strong requirements which the big distribution and transmission companies or our customers they are working on is on, on digitalization, uh, digitalization journey of the entire network. That means the, tra the transmission network, the distribution network. There are new threats on the cybersecurity. So any products that in fact are launched by Siemens, I think you can be rest assured that they will meet the best in class cybersecurity standards. We are committed. We have yesterday there was a presentation also on the charter of trust. So that also we give our uh, our customers uh, complete confidence on all the products which are digital, which are um, uh, internet enabled, are also 100% secure. And, and we try to make them um, also in the future catch up with all the new cybersecurity standards that will be coming up. So when we saw this environment, I think transformers became the, the, the last standing elements in the grid which were not digitalized. And we are happy that we are the first company to make it digitalized for our customers. Digitalization for the energy grid is not purely on the energy grid itself. You see that telecommunication industry or the data industry as we see it has also been catching up over the years. There is a rapid convergence of what we say the IT and the OT technologies which, which are leading the, leading the path. And some statistics on the slide will, will show that, yeah, 50% of, of the data was just generated in a year. Yeah? And it's getting, it's getting more and more. Yeah? I mean, everything we want to today control from our mobile phone, we want to have the ease of controlling and managing our infrastructure and, and all the, all the grid-related elements as well from our mobile phone. And this convergence is also what Siemens wants to drive it much faster and much better for our customers. On this slide, you see that, that the grid for us is still a bit traditional because we are having a product portfolio that spans across the network, starting from the generation, transmission, then the distribution, and then it's all the way up to consumption. We have a portfolio that, 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 that caters to all the requirements of the grid. And in a business like Transformers, the physics has been what, had, what it has been for almost over 100 years. And uh, only in the digital age, yeah, that's where we are today. We feel that the digitalization is all about information. And you merge the, the physics and information, we have a new reality. And this is, this is the journey today. We start from transformers to senseformers. And with senseformers, we will enable our customers get digitalized. So that's, that's a very big uh, initiative from us. We want to make them intelligent data nodes that, that can give you valuable information all about the network, all about the grid, 
and how it is being controlled and how it can be better managed in the future. What is digitalization for us? Digitalization for us is something that starts by connecting the dots. Till today, we had a fleet of isolated transformers somewhere in the grid, not connected. So what we did was we were traditionally manufacturing the transformers and we were selling it, and they are into operation for last 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years yeah, as isolated elements. Today, we want to connect, connect the transformers. We want to collect the data. We want to walk the entire journey with the customer together from not only from the manufacturing, but all the way to the end of life of the transformer. It's a journey that we want to make it together. And the, the, the enabler on the journey is the data. So um, for us, the future is, is not only the, the product that we have, but it's also from managing and learning from the data. What we have, what you see is, is all the fleet of transformers that we will, will get connected. They will have certain basic functionality. So it will have oil level uh, alarm indication. It will have top oil winding temperature available. It will have the low voltage current measurements available. It will have the GPS location. So you exactly know the position of your transformer. And it will also give you the local weather information. Now, I think the whole reason to start simple is also that you know it's the simple the product, it's easy to use. And that's the philosophy Siemens has been uh, using for, for as many generations. Yeah. So we wanted to start a very simple solution that gives you the basic indicators right, right in the mobile phone. And then you can decide, of course, what additional information you need. But these, for us, these are basic signals which will be comfortable enough for you to manage your network or better understand your transformer. Then, of course, there's a secure transmission through GSM. The choice of GSM is also very clear for us. GSM as a technology has been tried and tested amongst all the various technologies which are available in the, in the market. So it's the most secure and most reliable network. And that's the reason why we choose GSM. The entire data gets stored on the cloud. And it also, what, what, you, what we give you is a graphic user interface. So it, it's, a interactive in, uh, it's an interactive interface. So you can actually click different elements on, on the website. And you can know the, the, the data in detail. Yeah? For example, at a given point of time, what is the temperature? Which is the location? How does the weather look like? These things enable you to better plan your operations. What our customers will also get is a Senseformer app. So by the app is really a physical app that you can download from, from, uh, from our, our website. You, it will, uh, it's, it's a secured uh, mobile connection. It will have instant overview of, like I mentioned, all the basic information that you need on a real-time data. It, will, it can help you enhance the entire life cycle of the trans uh, transformer. And it also helps you to do better planning and better management of your, of your fleet. You have all the key KPIs at a glance, which are real KPIs. You can also have certain alarms, which will be pushed directly on your mobile phone. So you can, in case of critical scenarios, you can already inform. Uh, you, you are better informed, and you can inform your fleet management in a better way by pushing those alarms. Um, the journey for us has just started. We will plan. We also plan to do so, some co-creation together with our customers, where we are happy to do a specific um, data analysis that they are willing to look at. It could be life cycle consumption. It could be material uh, uh, material sciences of the transformer. It could be particular behavior of the transformer. And these will be the co-created apps, which we, will, which we will do together with the customer. And they will be also available on the Mindsphere platform. If you have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer that. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you also, Pune Harmida Singh. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for joining us.